it's our final day in Aruba good morning good morning and today we are going on a submarine <laughs> Yep, you heard that right. We're going on the submarine ride. So go ahead and subscribe if you're into fun and adventure. Now let's get into it. All right, so before I go though, I have to get a picture down here by the Aruba sign. After my submarine ride, I am going straight to the airport. But the stress is getting, getting too much. Very cute, but I'm tired of pulling it down already. Oh Lord, and I'm getting horns blown at me, so child, I'm gonna have to change clothes. Okay, so that's done. A bit of a struggle. I was trying to take the pictures on my own, and the wind's blowing, so my stand was not working. But one of the worker guys saw me struggling <laughs> and I asked him to help me. He was like, yeah, sure. He didn't speak English. So as far as angles and stuff, I couldn't get like angles and angles or whatever I want, you know what I'm saying? But I was just happy that he was helping me. That he agreed to help you girl out. Cause I was struggling. So we'll see what we can do with the pictures that he took. Very much appreciated. So now there's this one more place I want to go to. Um, Malta Angel, something like that. I'll put it here. It's the last place that I haven't been to that I really want to check out before we go. So, let's go. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, y'all. So beautiful. Peaceful. We're a little bit more comfortable for travel and this final tour. Okay. <laughs>
port so you guys can know how deep we are. One up front on the port side, left side, all the way down the front. And there's also one back here on the starboard side. And just get the steps in feet. Our plants, these are the corals. Corals consist of millions of microscopic animals that are called polyps. These polyps have a mouth to those dirt. So you can see there's plenty of plankton today in the water. They will starve and then they will die. Which means that the corals will also die because the corals consist of these polyps. And if the corals die, this means that the reef will die. If the reef dies, this means that all the fish will die. And after everything dies, guess what happens? No more reef and no more job for me. Yes, that's the most important one. I won't have a job anymore. So please guys, do me a favor. Don't touch a coral. So we have many fish out here on the reef. You can see some brown fish, some small brown fish right now. These brown fish are called the chromies, and the chromies are very common here on this reef. And these fish, you guys see them? They have a black head and white tail, they're very tiny. These fish are called the bicolor depsel fish. The bicolor depsel fish are the most aggressive fish of the reef. If you get two trumpet fish, and the trumpet fish is the master of camouflage of this reef. Okay, the trumpet fish hides itself between the soft corals. That's why it's called the trumpet fish. Okay, we see lots and lots of concrete and sand on board. But the Coast Guard of Aruba got a tip and found out that they also had illegal white substance on board of the Morning Star. So they blocked them from entering the harbor. Okay, the crew of the Morning Star then tried to force their way into the harbor because they had to load up these cargoes. Uh, so they started exchanging gunfire with the Coast Guard but the Coast Guard managed to perforate the hull of the Morning Star and so it ended up sinking right here, right in front of the Barcadera Harbor. Cool story, right? Yes, I made it up myself. So what really happened to this boat, it was uh, belonged to a Dutch company that used to use this boat to build the Renaissance Island and other private islands. Have you guys ever seen the movie Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. Yes. What's the name of Captain Jack Sparrow's ship? Mm -hmm. What's the name? What's the name? It's the Black Pearl, correct? Well, guys, out here on the starboard side, what you can see, this is not the Black Pearl. Okay, so right in front of you, you have the Midushi 2. Okay, so the Midushi 2 is a wooden boat. The wooden boat was used to do sailing and snorkeling adventures here in Aruba. And it was also a party boat. But now the fish are partying on this boat. So, and one advice, never, never ever call your sweetheart Misushi. Because you know what Misushi means in Papineta? Them out there, these fish are named after Tom Brady. These are the goat fish. Oh, everybody else? <laughs> Congratulations to you guys. You guys are now in the 1%. Okay, 1% of the entire world's population.
a grand adventure. Just have to say yet, yeah, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Next stop is the airport. Woo!